9 Key Leadership Styles to Grow Your Business Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. I am so glad you are back. Now that you have started your business and it is up and running, you are probably on the path to scaling and are either looking to employ people or you have employed them already. The next step would be to think about how you are going to lead your employees and organization. Let's talk leadership. What kind of leader are you? Or rather, what leadership style suits your organization? Let's get into the video. Before we go any further, it is important to understand that your leadership style will affect employee performance. The purpose of a leader in any organization is to provide direction and help communicate the vision and mission of the organization to employees. So, it is very important that you as a leader first understand and know your organization's mission and vision in order to communicate it effectively to those you are leading. You may be wondering what the difference between a manager and a leader is. Aren't they the same thing? The main difference between the two is that leaders tend to have people follow them and managers simply have people who work for them. Think of your CEO in a company and different department managers in that same company. CEOs tend to be leaders as they are leading everyone under their leadership toward the mission and vision of the organization, while managers may just manage the department they oversee. In order to be a successful business owner, you need to be a strong leader and a strong manager in order to get your employees on board and make them want to follow you towards your vision of the organization's success. If anyone wants me to expound on the difference between managers and CEOs, and when they can overlap, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to do so. There are different styles of leadership. Here are the main ones. These are not listed in any order or importance. Number one, autocratic leaders. These are your strictest type of leaders and usually have control over the decision-making process. This leadership style tends to be effective when a decision must be made urgently or the work is routine. Number two, bureaucratic leaders. These types of leaders are not as strict as autocratic leaders, but they usually enforce regulations strictly and are all about hierarchy. You can find this leadership style in healthcare and safety environments, such as security. Number three, charismatic leaders. Think of your charismatic preachers. A charismatic leader's infectious presence motivates their team to follow their lead. They are very likable, and this helps their teams and organizations achieve success. These leaders tend to do well in high-energy work environments that need greater amounts of positive morale. Number four, democratic leaders. These leaders welcome the participation of their subordinates in decision-making, unlike autocratic and bureaucratic leaders. This leadership style is admired and thrives in environments that do not require quick decisions. Number five, Liza Fair leaders. These leaders, while they are still responsible for setting employee expectations and monitor performance, they have a hands-off approach to leadership and give their employees the autonomy to assume responsibility in decision-making processes. This leadership style works best with highly experienced and confident employees. Number six, servant leaders. These leaders share decision-making and power with their subordinates and usually lead the organization based on their employees' interests. Highly effective in humanitarian organizations, not-for-profits, and so forth that need to create diversity, inclusion, and morale. Number seven, situational leaders. These leaders use different leadership styles based on the needs of the organization and employees. This style is versatile and effective in most organizations. Number eight, transactional leaders. These leaders use a reward or consequence system to motivate their employees. Highly effective for leaders who find themselves leading teams that are motivated by rewards. Number nine, transformational leaders. These are kind of like your charismatic leaders with using their inspiring energy and personality to foster an engaged workplace. 
They can be more effective than charismatic leadership because they also motivate employees to build confidence and accountability. If you find yourself in an environment with intellectual employees who thrive in interactive environments, this leadership style will work best. Now that you understand each of the basic leadership styles, which one do you think will suit your organization more? It is important to know that it is easier to establish from the onset which leadership style you want your organization to adopt than to have no sense of leadership styles and want to implement them later. It is easier to bring in employees into your organization with a leadership style already in place than to change your leadership style once you have already established a workforce. This is because people are willing to learn and accept the culture of the organization along with its leadership style, as they are starting out then to have to unlearn what they have learned when a new way of leading is introduced. Personally, I prefer the situational leadership type of leading because of its versatility. It works for most organizations, and you can use a bit of each of the leadership styles I mentioned before with this style. If you are interested in books that can help you become a better leader for your organization, I will link them down below in the description section. If you liked today's video, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.